Jesus, your, your word says that when Christ came into the region, he said, repent for the kingdom is at hand. And so, Father, we, we change the way we're thinking now. Grace us to divest of mindsets, attitudes, beliefs that we have carried, God, that will not allow us to move as overcomers in this dispensation that we are in. Father, let the minds, let the hearts of the body of Christ begin to raise up and see with different eyes, God. Paul said that let the eyes of our understanding be open, God. Let our understanding see like it's never seen before. Let us take hold of the unseen, God, and bring it into the scene. There is nothing that is too hard for you, so we do not fret. We do not worry. We are bold. We are courageous. We walk by faith and not by sight. We understand that the kingdom of God is not in word, but it is in power. It is in demonstration. And God, I declare a new, I decree and declare a new anointing for the body of Christ in this time, in this season, God, that we would raise up and turn from every mindset, every stronghold that is in our being that has kept us from seeing you. Isaiah said in the year that King Uzziah died, I saw the Lord high and lifted up. God, let every Uzziah in our life die that's keeping us from seeing you that's keeping the body of Christ from taking hold of your mind and your understanding and your will and your way. Let us no longer desire for these cups of difficulty to be removed from us, but mm. grace us like David to run to this enemy, God, in the seven spirit of the spirit of the Lord. Let us go, Heavenly Father, knowing that we are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. Father, you have planted us here for now, and we declare in the name of Jesus that those who have been given a faith, we will prove trustworthy. We will steward it according to the will of the Lord. Your word tells us that the heavens belong to you, but the earth you've given to the sons of man. And so, God, we declare the sons of man rise up, that we come forth in new anointings, new understanding. Let the power and the authority of God be stirred up in us like it's never been before. God, grace us to get new postures toward you. Grace us to get new zeal and new diligence toward you. Grace us to break away from the day-to-day -day mundane that traps us and keeps us from ascending to the hill of the Lord where you gave Moses the patterns. You said to build according to the pattern. Father, you've already destroyed every wile of socialism and Marxism and every high thing that exalts itself against the knowledge of God. So grace us to ascend to the hill of the Lord, to lift up our heads, O ye gates, and let us see the pattern. Let us see the patterns you've already worked out from region to region, from city to city, from nation to nation, God. You are victorious and you have called us, chosen us. And Lord, we speak to these mountains and we say, you shall come down and you shall come down hard. We declare the power of the Lord breaking forth and breaking out. We declare the unity of the body of Christ, the remnant of God, let its intellect be centered in Christ Jesus. Let its apostolic and prophetic strategies and declarations be that which says grace, grace, and allows and causes every mountain to become a plain in the name of Jesus. We pray by faith and believe these things are done by your love and your mercy. And because you have found men and women in the earth who will stand in the gap, between the porch and the altar and seek to bring the kingdom to bear on nation and nations. In Jesus' name, we call all things decreed, declared, and spoken and prayed done in his precious name. Amen.